Yeah. I contacted the police the next morning because it was late at night when I found out what had happened, and um, I didn't think that they would do anything about it. I didn't think they would really want to do anything about it, but once they saw the footage of the video, uh, that's when they went down and arrested him, and he was charged with a third-degree felony. Good. Wow, that's great. It's so disturbing, and I can tell you're in the, <laughs> still very shaken. Thank you for doing this, and thank you of course. for coming on, yeah. because we don't often think about it. But you know, It's a great story of empowerment that other people can go mm -hmm. and do something like this. I want to bring in a legal expert, uh, Dana Swickle, who's here. Um, this is amazing to me. I mean, going undercover, kind of really becoming your own detective sure. stopping a crime. Sure, it's actually very interesting and good for you, by the way, because with the technology, we need to do things and use it for positive. And what you did was you were an arm for law enforcement. You actually mm -hmm. went out, investigated, and got it on videotape. And quite frankly, the videotape is the best thing that you can do. It's indisputable. And because you're a lay person and you don't work for law enforcement, you can actually get this information and it'll be admissible in court without any red tape. So you did a great job. Uh, and, That's yeah. great. Is that because I wish to ask? Is that Dana? Is that because it's um, in her property, like it's in her home? Well, she's taping it. Yeah, well, listen. With the videotape and audio tape, you have to be very careful, though, and this is what people really need to understand. You first need to ask yourself, where are you doing this, and what are you trying to do? Are you doing it in a public place? And if so, anytime you want to do something in a public arena, it's fair game, basically, unless there are exclusionary places, like a dressing room. Like or a restroom. Where, absolutely, right. or a restroom, where someone would have an expectation of privacy. So you have to be careful. But since it was in your own home, you consented to it, it was your expectation of privacy that was being violated, so that was fantastic. So you had the right to do that, absolutely. Yeah. Everybody left, and then she came in. And did, when you were doing this, did you really think that you would actually catch somebody in the act? No, I was... Uh, I didn't know that she was... I saw... I hit in the locker twice. Okay. I was in there on Monday, and she... Because me and my friend, we wanted to see what was happening and why money was going missing, and she took money that day. Right. And so we said, oh, we have to get evidence of this. Because you didn't have a video camera no. at the first time. No, but you time. just yeah. saw it. Okay. Yeah. Wow. See, that is so smart. I couldn't contain the secret. What, what happened to the teacher? She isn't there anymore. She got um, charged with two counts of petty theft. Wow. That's incredible. I mean, I just... Money could you actually gain? Like well, maybe a hundred yeah. bucks? An issue. You know? that, uh, but but terrible. it seems like it had been going on for a long time. And Alana, I asked you during the break, um, I asked you if you moved out, but, and you were like, I didn't move out, the guy moved out. So he's <laughs> gone, right? I, I'm so All glad right. to hear that. In both your cases, I think it's wonderful. These two young women, very young women, took matters into their own hands. They didn't feel helpless. They didn't feel like they had to go to a superior or a law enforcement officer first. They said, I need to, you know, validate yeah, yeah. what yeah. my suspicions are. And I just applaud you because it's so smart and so brave in a way. Yeah, totally you know? brave. I think it's great. And Raquel, you're, you're, uh, the, uh, you're, you're the mom here. You must be so proud of your daughter. Yes, I am. Did you think she would actually catch the, the thief? No, I didn't. She, she told us she had seen it, and um, she said that if she didn't have video, nobody would believe her. So you get she told us she was going to do it. We were, you know, we had to support her because we agreed that nobody would believe her. D Dana, you, you talked a little bit about some tips for people out there. Uh, one thing is know the laws. Absolutely. You need to know the law. You need to know when and where you can audio and videotape. Um, for instance, you were very, very smart in going into the locker room, and you were very smart to actually bring the videotape to, your, to the authorities and to the principal. Same thing with Alana. When you get these videotapes, don't do anything further with it. You've done what you needed to do. The next step is to take it to the So that's your number two tip. Don't actually confront the Don't, person. Don't, yes. No, because you never know how they're going to react, react. And you want to keep yourself safe. And the third one is take the video to law enforcement. Take it. Absolutely take it to law enforcement. They will know right from the beginning how to proceed from there and if a crime has actually been committed. And in both of your cases, using the videotape, you actually handed it to them on a silver platter. Sure. And they're both they now being charged. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for thank what you, you did. Thank you. 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 Thank